Hello everyone, this is Potter Brown, and welcome to another blind reaction of Princess Trixie Sparkle. This time episode number 9, The Alicorn Amulet. Okay, so let's just get it started and see what they have in store for us this week. In 3, 2, 1, and go. Previously on Princess Trixie Sparkle. My name is Estelle. I am offering you a chance at revenge against Twilight. Evil Estelle. Once you have obtained the body of a princess, I need you to retrieve the Alicorn Amulet for me. The amulet is protected by the hearts of the ponies who hold it. As long as there is light and love in Equestria, it will be safe. Well, what are we waiting for? We need to get to the Crystal Empire. We haven't a moment to lose. Shadow, I have lost patience with that little unicorn brat, Trixie. Go. Fetch her for me once you have forced her to reveal the location of the amulet. All right, here we go. Where are we? We feel strange. Looks like Luna's old style. Why does our magic fail to illuminate the this first room? Is any pony out there? Image of Luna. Luna. At last we meet. Who goes there? Show thyself at once! Like right after she turns it, I remember. You know what I mean. Princess, I do not wish to hurt you. If there is no need for fear, why dost thou hide in darkness? Is it you who has stripped us of our magic? We demand you release the Princess of the Night at once! Perhaps I should start with an introduction. My name is Estelle. There are so many things that need to be said between us, dear Luna. If I did not return to Equestria, you never would have known. Enough! Celestia? <laughs> Sister, is that you? Where are you? <laughs> Luna, Luna, I am so sorry. I wish, Damn. I, I wish I could have protected you. Celestia, are you hurt? Give us a sign that you are well. Oh, yes. Let's make sure the Sun Princess is in pristine condition, why don't we? She's the important one, after all. Estelle, please. Well, well, well. Isn't this quite a family reunion? Sisters reunited again. So heartwarming, isn't it? Equestria needs its princesses to maintain day and night. You are dooming Equestria by keeping us captive. Fear not, little Luna. The day and night shall be constant and unchanged. No doom will befall Equestria by those means, I assure you. All I want of you, of us, is to work together at last. Stay back! Please, do not fear me. I would never harm you. You will come to know so much of that which you have lost. Celestia's years of guilt could not even begin to make up what she did to me! Don't pretend to know my pain, Estelle! Your pain? You weren't the one banished from her home and though she loved! Banished? <sighs> yes, your sister has wronged me too. I was misunderstood, unappreciated, and heartbroken. But I was betrayed. Betrayed by your precious Celestia! Our sister only acts in the interest of Equestria. If she had banished thee, it was for a just and noble reason. Ah, but you see, you have only heard one side of the story, Luna. You only know what Celestia has fed you of your... her past. She's always kept secrets from you and kept you shielded from knowledge that you had every right to possess. She claims to be the greatest alicorn who ever lived because she's just, fair, and kind. But perhaps she keeps secrets to hide twisted and traitorous misdeeds of her past. Celestia is no more innocent of darkness than you or I. No pony is perfect. Celestia is no exception. What is it you want from us? I want... No, not another word. You know it will only serve to bring her pain, Estelle. If you care at all for Luna, you will spare her this torment. Your quarrel is with me, and rightfully so, but please... Let Luna free. I what you have to live with the choices you have made for me, Celestia. You will always be that ungrateful little brat that clung to my hooves and followed me up the chain of power. 
You betrayed me, and you betrayed her. Luna has every right to hear the whole story. Tell her who I am, Celestia. <laughs> you are too ashamed to say it, aren't you? Too weak and pathetic to admit your own wrongdoings. Tell Luna who I am! You're an alicorn? Luna, Another sister, don't you or really deserve the truth? I. Uh, who is she, Celestia? Our older sister. Okay, I was saying, is it going to be that or mother? So <clears throat> this is the Crystal Empire, and here I thought it was supposed to be something special. Oh well, at least here I can still bask in the limelight as the princess. <laughs> Only for appearances, of course. I've had just about enough of her prissiness. She looks rather ridiculous yeah. spreading about like that. Twilight would never act in such a way. It's still easier to let her do this than try to explain to every pony. Yeah. Don't know it's a hard thing to explain, Twilight. I suppose. Keep so level-headed about all of this. Not really, I'm just... Are you all coming or what? State your business. Well, obviously, we're here to see the princess. Why else would I be in the Crystal Empire? Ah, yes. Princess Twilight. Right this way. Maybe you should work on sounding a bit more like Twilight around other ponies. Yeah, yeah, yeah I know. It's just so hard to remember. Especially when I have to deal with stupid guards like him. Please wait here. Princess Cadence and Prince Shining Armor will be with you shortly. Oh, good! We were worried they were going to be missing by the time we got here. Aren't you glad you're not right for once, Twilight? We'll see. So, what's the deal with this place anyway? I mean, where are all the crystal unicorns and pegasi? The only pegasus I saw was that one guard fellow outside, and he wasn't all crystally like the other one. Come to think of it, that's a bit weird to have one normal pony with a bunch of crystal ones. They're talking about Flash? I mean, if I were Princess Cadence, I would want all my guards to look good. You know, consistency and all that. Well, you aren't Cadence, are you? You don't get to make those kinds <laughs> of decisions for other ponies. Whoa, some pony needs to check their attitude before the princess comes. Oh, and by the way, Twilight, I don't see any signs of that ghost alicorn ever having been here. Looks like you were... what's the word? Wrong? Not so perfect after all. Who would have guessed? So, this means we traveled all across Equestria for nothing. Way to go, princess. Twilight! Uh, hey, little sis. Long time no see. It's so good to see you. What are you doing here? I didn't hear word that you were coming. That's because Rainbow Dash can't figure out how to send scrolls with her dragon fire breath yet. They just burn up. <laughs> What? I guess it just takes the right kind of dragon to do the job. S Spike, is that you? Yeah, it's a long story. But basically, we're all a bit mixed up. A bit? Ha! <laughs> That's putting it lightly. Twilight, what's uh. going on? Actually, I'm Twilight Cadence. We came to make sure everything was all right here in the Crystal Empire. But if you're my sister, who is this? We switched, okay? It's not that difficult to understand. What she means to say, Your Highness, is that some kind of strange magic has got us all mixed up. But who did this to you? Trixie! What did you do? Will somebody please tell him I'm on your side now? <sighs> Unfortunately, she's right. Yeah, We're stuck with her for kinda. now. That's right. Since we, we have, have a to. deal. I'm sorry, Twilight. I don't know how to reverse a spell like this. I'm guessing there are no books in Ponyville or Canterlot that have answers. What did Princess Celestia say? That's just it. Princess Celestia's missing. And then the Shadow Monster took Princess Luna! They're gone? Again? Yeah! It was like this big, <laughs> ugly, alicorn monster thing! Luna and it like it, it ate her. It just ate her, and then it disappeared. It was after me too. Don't 
Don't forget that little detail. What can we do to help? Yeah. We need to make sure the Alicorn amulet is safe. Well, who cares about that? Would make you think otherwise. otherwise. So ponies after it. Even though we still don't know why she wants it. Okay, okay. Some pony needs to tell me what's going on here. I want the whole story. Oh, I'll tell it! And now Twilight's worried that the Shadow Thing is working for this unicorn Estelle and that he's going to come for the amulet or cadence or both. Then we won't let that happen. Knowing you, Twilight, you've already thought up a plan. I might have something, but I want to talk to you and my brother alone. Girls, do you mind? Trixie babysitting duty, you got it. Excuse me? Oh, they have to keep an eye on you. Okay, Twilight, what did you have in mind? She's lying! Well, that much is obvious. She's trying to deceive all of us. She wants us to think that there's this other unicorn out there who wants all this power, but I know she's lying. Trixie has never shared power or secrets no, with she's right. There's not power. another unicorn out there trying to steal all this power. There's another she alicorn. She knows if she can gain our trust, she can still get her hooves on that amulet. Okay, Twilight, slow down. It makes sense. She sent her evil shadow to get rid of the princesses. <gasps> Maybe she's going to interrogate them herself mm. into revealing the location of the amulet. Princess Celestia told me the well, magic I can see why you might think that, but... Any pony. Pick a slight unicorn, <clears throat> alicorn, even her! Then she won't get her hooves on it. Don't worry, Twily. Cadence and I won't let her near the amulet. I agree that the amulet needs to be protected at all costs, but... Are we really sure Trixie is behind all of this? What if she's telling the truth? Trixie's never told the truth. She's lied <laughs> and cheated and caught it's her. Interesting to see that pose on Trixie's she body. Wants. She has the princesses. I'm sure of it. I won't let her out of my sight. like straight out of Lesson Zero. To them. When this is all over, I want Princess Celestia to throw her in the same dungeon cell that she tried to keep me. Twilight. This doesn't sound like you at all. I think she's right, dear. Trixie shouldn't go unpunished for what she has done. No pony hurts my little sister and gets away with it. Cadence, I've been quiet this whole time. Do you know yeah, you've been how keeping a lot in. to do that? Ever since Princess Luna was taken, <laughs> I knew I would have to keep my mouth shut. I needed time to think, to come up with a plan, and make sure I'm right. Not to mention, I didn't want her out of my sight again. I've had to sit back and listen to her drone on about all her problems and all these lies. <laughs> <laughs> she stole my body, my identity, and left me in a cell to rot, taunting me. I've never seen a pony so cruel. Not even offering my friendship could stop her or change her mind. She's evil. She's always been evil. I think you're speaking out of hurt. The Twilight I know would have several theories to explore, not just one. Especially since there's a True. lot of evidence to consider. But all the evidence does point to her. Am I expected to believe that the Shadow Alicorn just happened to show up after Princess Luna and I confronted her? There are no other theories that I need to have, Cadence. Trixie is the one behind it all. Then what do you suggest we do? I want to catch her in the act. I want to expose her lies right here, right now. I think we should give her an amulet and see what she tries to do with it. We can't just hand over the Alicorn amulet, Twily. Not the real one, a fake one. If she thinks she has it, maybe she'll reveal what she plans to do with it and where the princesses are. I just need to see it so that I can make a copy. Princess Celestia told me never to retrieve the amulet unless instructed by her to do so. But if we don't, we might not be able to find her or Princess Luna. I... I don't like it. I've never disobeyed Celestia before. It is... for the best, honey. We'll be careful, I promise. <sighs> I hope you're right, Twilight. I really do. Luna? Is, is that you? I, I can't see you, sister. Are you alright? 
I am in good health, if that is what you mean. What did she tell you? She's a little Are upset. Are you insinuating that you actually care about what I think? Luna, you have to understand. I... I only did what I thought was best for you. Best for who, Celestia? For me? I just thought. Yes, Celestia, you thought. You make the decisions for yourself and for me, apparently. You've made that quite clear. If you're worried about where my allegiance lies, you can rest easy, sister. I have not turned against you. You didn't join her plight? I have not given her my answer. She has given me time to reflect on my choices. Please, let me explain. You had a millennium to do so, sister. And so did he. He? Shadow. The monstrous Alcorn beast that follows Estelle? How do you know of this creature? Your omnipotence fails you again, dear sister. Do you really think you are the only one between us to live with regrets all these years? You are not the only one to keep secrets. And regrets. Hmm. Sorrowful, regretful, all of those years that huh? I love. Memory comes at a cost. I trusted, let me down. Everything I try to hide in my it's past. Too late to make it okay. Right and wrong changes with time. Every new truth revealed. Love and loss. I've known my share. I had looked up to her. How can I trust again? What will become of us? Can she learn to forgive? Suddenly he was gone. Will she be victorious? Was all our love for naught? At least you're safe. How could he turn away from me? Sorrowful, regretful. All of those years that I love. Memory lost. comes at a cost. I trusted, let me down. Everything I try to hide in my it's past. Too late to make it okay. What I'd give to take it, it all back. So, won't get hurt. so that I won't hurt you. Foolish pride clouded my mind. I was blinded. I believed all those pretty lies. So how can I fix this? How can we move I on? I would give almost anything. I wish I could be ignorant. I know I messed it up, but I, I don't, don't deserve, deserve this. I want to forget it. But it doesn't work that way. Sorrowful, regretful. All of those years that I lost. Memory comes at a cause. I trusted, let me down. Everything I tried to hide in my it's past. too late to make it okay. That was really intense. I had to resort to playing games with the crazy guy. Gimme! Uh, this ain't checkers, Pinky. <laughs> it's chess. Oh! Night me! Sorry it took us so long. Yeah, we wanted sure. to make sure we were prepared in case something went wrong. Did you find the amulet? The amulet is safe. 
It is still where Princess Celestia hid it. So, what now? We're going to set a trap. Oh, oh, let me guess! Trix is gonna lure Estelle in all innocent-like, and then before she can get her hooves on the amulet, we all burst out of hiding, and then Twilight Cannons and Shining Armor will take her on, horn to horn! And the rest of us ponies will be ready, just in case there's any other sort of funny business that we need to take care of. Oh, I hope I get to clobber a few minions! <coughs> minions? Well, duh. All the best villains have them. So the plan hey, you can't is be to a kill villain without exactly minions. what she wants and hope that we can out magic her and the Shadow Alicorn? Are you sure about that, Twilight? <laughs> I think Twilight's finally lost it. Well, if she has, then it's your fault. With Trixie's help, yeah. we'll have the magic of two alicorns and the Crystal Empire army to back us up. There's no way they can take down that kind of magic, or the magic of friendship that you all hold inside of you. If you could defeat Nightmare Moon at the height of her power, you could surely defeat a power-hungry unicorn. Yes! Yeah, of course. All right, girls, this is how it's going to go down. Cadence will give Trixie the alicorn amulet. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? You're she seems incredibly powerful. Uh, the alicorn amulet? Doesn't have Trixie's all of her power, apparently. Now. That's what she's trying right, to Trixie? obtain. Yeah, I thought we already established this. I'm on the good guy side this time. Do I need to, like, get that in writing or something? With the power of the amulet, she will summon forth Estelle and the Shadow Alicorn. What? Then when they arrive, we will use the love of the Crystal Empire and the magic of friendship to end this once and for all. What, what if it doesn't work? We don't have our elements anymore. True, but you are all still the spirits of the elements of harmony. You can call yeah. upon that power whenever you wish. Uh, but what about me? Spike, we need you to stick close to Rainbow, just in case. And then we get to tackle some minions? Yes, Pinky, then you get to tackle some minions. Fun! So, Trixie, are you up for the challenge? Well, not really. But I guess if I am an alicorn and I get the amulet, I'll be the most powerful one of all of you. You'll need me to save the day and whatever, so I'll do it. Just remember this when it's all over, okay? I saved your lives twice now. But, um, I'd rather you all took care of the shadow thing. And I'll stick to Estelle, all right? Sure. Good. Give me that amulet. Is every pony ready? Yes, yes sir. Okay. Whoa, it's shiny. Pinky, you've seen the amulet before. I know, <laughs> but it is shiny. Yeah, a little dark. Nothing's happening. Maybe you have to send out a summoning spell? Oh, of course! How exactly do I do that? I've already mastered this spell, so my magic should know what it's doing. Just imagine a little ball of yellow light and send it to Estelle. So, now what? We play the waiting game or something? Ooh, I love this game! I call for Shy on my team! Hmm, how do you play the waiting game? <laughs> hey, you guys! It's the Shadow Alicorn! He's coming! What about the Estelle pony? I don't see her. I knew it! There never was an Estelle pony, was there, Trixie? <laughs> it was all a lie you told, so you could get your hooves on the amulet! Some slight animation what? there. No! You never fooled me for a minute! I knew you were behind everything from the start! Okay, that's seriously giving me way too much credit. And I'm admitting that. That says something. <sighs> Gales, not wrapping this up after we deal with the Shadow Alicorn? He's gonna be here any minute. Ah! Time's up. Oh yeah. Well, look here, Mr. Scary Alicorn thing. I've got your precious amulet. What are you gonna do about it, huh? Ah! Uh. Wh what? But I, I thought. <laughs> While he's still solid, let's get him, girls. This should be fun. Fun? You know nothing of fun. I am the queen. 
Messes with Applejack. Huh. How's that for an Earth Pony? <laughs> nice try. Delight in love of Equestria. Now! Hmm. <laughs> what is this? This is the power of the Crystal Empire, and you will tremble in its might! Tremble? Me. <laughs> we'll see about that. This, uh... Yeah, it's really improved here. But I don't understand. Uh, drop the act, Trixie. I know it's been you all along. You can't fool me with your lies anymore. You know what? I'm done with you, Twilight. I wish I hadn't switched with you in the first place. I went out of this mess just as much as you do. Ha! <laughs> Likely story! Ah! Ah! You... you just attacked me! Ah! The amulet was fake. I just wanted you to summon your Alcorn monster so that Cadence and the others could finish him. You... On the other hook, you're going back to Kennerlot to rot in the cell you forced me into. Oh, you! Ah! Ah! What? Ah! Twilight, I'm telling the truth. Listen to me. If I was really the villain all along, wouldn't I be attacking you right now? I don't believe you. Twilight, stop. Look. Yeah, Twilight's brother, being pretty damn stubborn here. Your friends, they need our help. Uh, no! Shining armor! Where do you think you're going? To help! Call off your monster! Uh, Twilight, please! Uh, I wanna help! No! Ah! Twilight, we can't let him get to the amulet! It's all right, Cadence! It's here with me! It's safe! What?! I can protect it, I... Ah! Oh, shit. The amulet. Trixie, don't! <laughs> right, that was familiar sound effect. Thank uh, you, princess, for delivering exactly what I needed. All of Equestria will fall, and you have no, no sunset shimmer transforming yourself. <laughs> what? If I remember right. No. Uh. No. No. Wait. Help me. Twilight, what have you done? Well, that took a bad turn. What do you want? 
Your friends have failed. The Alicorn Amulet is on its way. It won't be more than a few minutes now. No, no! Have you come to gloat then? No, I haven't. I have come seeking your answer. I gave you my answer. Think about it carefully, Luna. I was not the one to betray you. I didn't abandon you and banish you to the moon. We share a common goal. All I want is peace and prosperity for Equestria. With you as its ruler? No, Luna. With you as its ruler. What? Well, that's unexpected. <laughs> the hell is she playing at? The time has come to take your side. The choice is yours alone. Into your shadow you can hide with all her lies. The truth you've never known. Or come with me, embrace the dark, unleash your nightmare half. And by dawn's light, we'll set it right. We'll make it so and let our sorrows go. Revenge plans away from me. It's not about me. This too involves you. She lets you rock for a thousand years. Don't you believe she should pay for all your tears? This is not a game, Estelle. I know how this will end. Vengeance cannot bring your heart to peace. I decide what vengeance brings. To an end. With or without you, I shall not cease. No pony's perfect, and Tia's no different. You must let go of things long past. It's too late for sorries, and Tia must suffer. I'll be set free when revenge is past. I felt a ruin, let darkness inside me. I paid the price, trapped inside the moon. Forsaken my ways, I've redeemed myself at last. You cannot hide from the truth now. You will give in to your dark side. And I'll give you all you desire if you can reject. You see it. Over now, time to forgive. Not for me. It's too late. Don't let hate take over you. Hate's what fuels me, it feels great. Please, Estelle, leave me be. Dearest Luna, you're like me. No! I refuse. It's your fate. Come join me. No! Never! Yes! I won't, Estelle. Take all your evil deeds and rot in Tartarus! So be it then, Luna. Well, 
Oh, so that was a thing. And I thought that song between uh, Celestia and Luna was intense, but that, Jesus. Interesting storyline. Uh, older sister of the two of the two royal sisters. Uh, yeah, good. Uh, good job, Oct Optic Spectrum. The animation fight was. Uh, and we've got some talented bronies in this community, don't we? Uh, man, I wish I could do stuff like this. Some of this artwork is also really, really cool. I gotta say, this was the cleanest one that I've seen so far. Uh, I remember when it started with uh, episode one of Princess Trixie Sparkle. Um, just a lot of stuff, including the, uh, you know, little hub watermarks and all that in there that just kind of threw, that just kind of took me out of the actual story. But this, this one was really more, much more immersive and it is just, uh, the different styles yeah but it seems to flow together now they're doing a hell of a lot better so really good job on this and i said i wish i could do stuff like this uh i mean i am involved in i'm involved in some upcoming projects uh with with various people with various uh pony with various bronies and uh yeah look forward to that i'm not gonna make any sort of announce as far as what it's going to be, what's coming, but I'll let you know when it's out. So, uh, yeah, there'll be future stuff as opposed to just reactions from me, but it's just doing what I can to be a part of this community. And, uh, yeah, stuff like this, really impressive, really well done. Everything just went together perfectly. And, geez, that story and the songs and stuff that they were doing is just really, really great. So... I want to thank you all for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed that. And I'm just going to end this one here. Until next time. Take care. Bye.